Steve Clements of Semaphore. Ambassador, it's great to see you. Just months into his new job as China's ambassador to the U.S., Xi Feng says a flurry of recent dialogue between top officials of both countries has been welcome. I think that this is a good sign. Mm. This provides a rare opportunity. But the uh, challenges are still abound and the foundations are still fragile. Xi points to trade as a major point of friction between the U.S. and China. He says U.S. sanctions on Chinese companies have cost many Chinese jobs and restrictions on investment in and exports to China of sophisticated semiconductors limit his country's development. Uh, I think this is uh, like uh, you know, restricting the other side to wear outdated swimwear in a swimming contest while you yourself is wearing a speedo, you know, fast skin. So this is not fair. I <laughs> Quoting a Chinese saying, Xi says his country will not sit idly by if it feels constrained. We will not, you know, make provocations, but we will not flinch from provocations. Not our hope to have a tit for tat. We don't want, you know, a uh, trade war technological war. Mm. We, uh, we want to say goodbye to uh, the eye curtain as well as the uh, silicon eye curtain. Last year at this same event, Xi's predecessor as ambassador sharply criticized what he called America's blurring of the one China policy. This time, Xi emphasized that Taiwan remains an unalienable part of China. The uh, most fundamental thing is to uh, return to the one China uh, principle. And the most important thing is that the three joint communiques, be, communiques between our two countries should be implemented. Mm. And thirdly, I think uh, the uh, uh, provocative, adventurous moves by the uh, Taiwan separatists should right. be uh, contained. And now the priority for us mm. is to stop Lai Qingde from you visiting the United States, which is like a great rhino charging at us. Tensions over Taiwan and other issues, he says, must be resolved peacefully. He insists China does not seek world hegemony or to displace the U.S. in any way. We should say goodbye right. to the Cold War mentality. We right. should uh, say goodbye to the uh, block confrontation. Uh, we should say uh, goodbye to the zero-sum game. He believes that begins with small steps, the clearing of obstacles between the two countries, more people-to-people -people exchanges. This ambassador's mood at the Aspen Security Forum was more upbeat, more hopeful than in the past. China, Xi says, is offering cooperation, a flower of peace. It will be a Chinese peony. Right. As, Chinese peony. As, you know, uh, as beautiful, mm. as sweet as American roses. <laughs> the question now, will that cooperation between both sides, still very tentative, take root? Thank you. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Aspen, Colorado.